Hi everybody, this is Lars from Cat Dimensions. Uh, you might, like many of our customers, receive PDFs on a daily basis through your emails. And PDFs are great, right? Because they, they're, they're lightweight, so they come through your email really well. From a CAD standpoint, uh, they don't contain any data. Uh, so there's not much CAD can really you know, do with the direct data. Um, some CAD programs try to throw some algorithms on it and try to extract the pixelated lines, but it's information that cannot be trusted. SOLIDWORKS, on the other hand, have some really neat tools how you can very quickly use this PDF um, to, to get your data in and get a, a trusted 3D model out of it. And that's what I want to show you here. So I have my 3D viewer here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to save it out as a picture. So I'm just going to save it out as a JPEG. And uh, so really taking the PDF from one pixelator to, to another. And if you've never seen SOLIDWORKS before, SOLIDWORKS is a really powerful 3D modeling software that can do a lot. But SOLIDWORKS have really done a nice job of getting uh, the user uh, interface down to where it's easy to use. For example, I can just go up here and actually start searching for commands, and SOLIDWORKS will fill it down and give me a search command so I can get this uh, PDF into, into SOLIDWORKS. On top of that, SOLIDWORKS very handy gives us scaling tools. So as I'm going in here, I can kind of like place this line right in the corner, and I can see here that we have about five inches uh, length of block. So I'm just going to grab this little bar here and just drag it over and get it close. And I can type in five, and just like that, SOLIDWORKS have actually scaled our picture down, and we now have you know, a scaled down picture we can use. So I can use this to extract my, my 3D data and really get a lot of this great information out of a 3D model I'm gonna show you. So when I go in here, I'm not gonna hunt around for a bunch of menus. SOLIDWORKS have made these things right handy for you. And actually, as you will see, as I start typing this rectangle, I can actually start typing in the dimensions right as I go along. And that means that, well, when if I move this one over here, I actually got a block that is very equal to our PDF, right? And as I'm going along here, what I'm assuring is that I'm using, I'm putting in the values for my dimensions from the PDF. So what I'm really assuring is that I'm getting that information that the customer has provided you, and that's the, the data that I'm using for my 3D model. I can also go in here and use something like advanced trim commands, so just typing in and trimming things the way I want it. A line tool could also be used to kind of like just tracing along, right? And just kind of like following these lines step by step. And that's fine too, because just by holding down my right mouse cursor, I can actually get my dimension tool up, and you will see that I'm using the dimensions again that is from the PDF, that is the trusted information from the customer. This is what the customer is going to be using to to, to maybe inspect the part. And just like this, I've actually used that data in there. So it always comes with a lot of, of handy tools. For example, this slot command, I can actually just very quickly here creating you know, this slot feature. And again, right mouse button, I can now take this data and I can apply those dimensions that we know uh, the customer have already signed off uh, on and, and assuring that we are using the same information. So very quickly here, we had actually taken uh, this part here and, and, and modeled something up that, that is now usable. And if I just go back here and, uh, and turn off our PDF, we will see that we already got kind of like this geometry uh, laid out here. And with that, well, we are already in business to actually start uh, making 3D models. So I can actually go in here and select my my geometry, we can see here that my blog is about a half inch thick. Uh, so I can actually just type that in, and um, just like that, I have now created um, a 3D model um, in here that the computer actually knows is there. But there's more to it, right? We have some more data. So if I go in here and say I want to create a cut, I can actually go in and uh, actually select, for example, our slot command here. Uh, that was a slot that was going all the way through, and just like that, we have applied that cut. There was also uh, the recess. Now the recess don't goes all the way, all the way through. It's only about an eighth of an inch deep. But again, SolidWorks makes this easy. I can actually just type in the fraction too if I want to to create to create that. So very quickly, you know, in, in a few minutes, we have actually taken a 3D model, brought it in here, and we are start using that we're using uh, that PDF. To actually, uh, to actually show uh, things that we want. If I just go normal here too, I just want to show another thing that is really, really powerful. 
Um, if we look here, we will see we got some, some counter bars, we got some tapped holes. Well, SOLIDWORKS actually comes with something called the hole wizard. And the hole wizard is using the machinist handbook. So again, it's trusted data, and of course it can be customized, but very quickly, we can actually go in here and apply something like um, these counter bars, for example, I can apply those and I can the right mouse button, and now I'm actually um, applying you know, again, the dimensions from the from the customer. We could also go in and look at something like our our tab holes, and they're sitting right down here. Again, the selection what SolidWorks comes with is 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 huge, and I can now again go in very easily and um, apply uh, these tab holes. And using the PDF to make sure that I get the ones I need. And again, like I showed before, we can use the measuring tools right here to assure we get get that data. So what do we got here? Well, let's just hide the PDF. Very quickly, we actually gotten a 3D model um, that, is, that we have very, you know, comfortably converted over from, from our PDF with the different features such as the threaded holes and the counter bars. And we might just finish this one up here by going in and maybe apply some fillets and I can just go in here and select these different round edges right through the screen here and apply the fillers that I need. Um, the software actually also uh, have um, some of, of, of quick selection too. So if I, for example, go and select the interface in here, I can actually just quick select and it applies to all of them. So very quickly we can get this model in here. So, you know, in less than seven minutes, we actually have a model here that is pretty close to, to what we saw on our PDF. But there's more advantages by being inside of a 3D modeling software than getting something up on the screen uh, like this. And that is that the software knows there's something there and we can evaluate things. For example, if I go in here and I apply some kind of material like a carbon steel and I go to my evaluation toolbar, I can actually now get something like uh, mass and volume out of here because again, the neat thing about 3D modeling software is that the software knows there's something there. We could also go in and do like draft analysis and stuff like that. So if there was any tables, we could double check those. We could add those in there. One of my favorite ones is DFM Express that comes with the standard version of SOLIDWORKS and that is designed for manufacturing. You run this analysis and the part would actually be checked for manufacturability. So for example, in this case here, it's gonna point out that there's a couple of internal corners in here that might be you know, difficult to manufacture. So already here, less than eight minutes into this, I could call my customer back and say that, hey, you know, we maybe have to talk about some changes here because this is gonna be hard for me to manufacture. If you upgrade to our uh, professional package, you can actually also get something like costing. Uh, that now actually can give you a tool to maybe quote the part and uh, you can play around with the different settings and templates and stuff like that for your tooling and you can also extract things like time or money um, amount of setups and stuff like that too. So SOLIDWORKS really gives you a lot of information right through um, that 3D model. So there's a lot of benefits from going from that PDF model that you know there is a lot of, of chances for arrows to bringing it in to a 3D modeling software where we actually used, you know, we use that PDF to guide us through and assure that we get all the right data in here. So I really hope you found this helpful. Um, and, and we at Cat Dimensions would definitely be more than happy to give you more information on this. So really neat tools inside SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.